Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. So I'm using the LW5 this year. I'm having mixed results on some of the locks. And I've actually, um, you know, come to the right conclusion of why I'm having so much troubles with this. And it's not because of the tool. It's simply because a lot of the lock pins are really worn. And you can get, you know, some big differences where you think it should be or where you think it shouldn't be. Like, I'll go through now and I'll, I'll read this one here. So I'm getting it touching at 6. If I hold it down, I can get to 5. So it's actually... When I hit it again, I'm getting um, getting just under six. So for this one here, I'm I'm pretty sure that everything's worn out. So I'm going to go for a six, and then on this one here, I'm getting a, a six six and a half. So once again, I'm going to go for the wear factor seven. So a lot of the time, when you put your needle in there, and you can kind of you can get it down to the next cut. Uh, but realistically, it really is higher. So what I mean by that is I'm just dropping that needle straight on top of that pin and it's showing me it's a 7. And um, when I put a little bit of pressure, I can take it, push it all the way down to a 6. So we want to make a nice key, but I'm going to go for a 7 on that one too. Now for the four, fourth position, if I just push push the needle and it's just sitting and it's, it's really about 6.5. So I'm going to bring that up as well. It's a seven. This is a foyer door, so it's going to be worn, worn out quite a bit. I'm dropping it on now, and it's coming up with a solid three. It's coming up with a solid three. Well, now it's down to uh, now it's wanting to go down to 2.8. So I'm going to just round that up to a three and try my luck on that one. And I'm dropping it on that. That's a three, and it's just under a four. It's just slightly under a four. You know what? I'm going, to go, I'm going to take it as a five. I can always um, take it down. Okay, let's let's do some key cutting and let's see how how close we got it. Okay, so a quick debugger. Okay, so let's uh, see how close we got it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed will work first go. And look at that. Perfect. So the moral to the story is that um, on foyer doors, there's going to be a lot of wear. And where you actually read it might not be what you're actually looking for. Like uh, for this one, this example here, if it comes to exactly sit on five and you know it's a fresh lock, then it could be a five. If it's a little bit above five, then you're most likely looking at a worn out six. So it's something just to kind of gauge up because once you know that what you're dealing with it's quite worn or, or um, you know, you're one above or one below, you can actually make up some pretty quick keys with this uh, LW5 Lishy Pick. So once again, it's been a, a savior on this job because for the locks like this, which are master keyed and Maison keyed, well, I'm pretty sure they're Maison keyed. Uh, no, no, they're not Maison, they're master keyed because everybody has the same key for the foyer door, but yet there's master key going through this particular cylinder and, um, yeah, it, we, we don't want to disturb anything. Already somebody's come up to me and said one of the keys has stopped working on this particular job because we've got about 20 of them to pull apart. So somebody's made a mistake there and it wasn't it wasn't me. Well, it could have been me. It could have been one of the other guys too, but cut a long story short, when you start pulling apart and disturbing it, you can end up with lots of problems. And if you don't have the keying chart, you're in a world of pain. So by going through using the Lishy tool to make a key, definitely does sort of save the day. Okay, thanks for watching.